Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm 23 years old and I've grown up and live in the Midlands in England. I'm Naomi, I'm 22 and I've grown up and live in Wales. We've both experienced poverty in a completely different way throughout our lives. And we've both had experiences that has meant that we've seen poverty in different people's lives, whether that's for our work, our volunteering or different areas. I was fortunate enough to go and work in Buckinghamshire for a short period of time on a paid internship, which was amazing. And actually, Buckinghamshire is stereotyped to be quite a posh, affluent area. And while I was there, I saw poverty like nowhere else. And I saw so many families struggle to buy school uniform for their children. They decided that eating well and that was what was needed. But actually to pay £150 at the start of every single term for uniform was impossible especially if you had more than one child. But the thing is that happens up and down the country and in the whole of the UK. And actually how often do we stop to talk about uniform or school, trip, or school trips that young people and children just can't go on because a parent can't afford £100 to send them away for a day. And actually that impacts a child long term because you miss out on great opportunities and time to bond with friends and classmates but also opportunities to learn. We all know that extracurricular stuff are extracurricular, but actually how often do we use those to get ahead in life? We're constantly encouraged, I remember during filling in my CV for uni and it was write all the extracurricular things you've done. And for me, I was fortunate that when my dad got better, we came out of poverty in an extent. But actually I saw so many of my friends being unable to do those things. But at the same time, there's amazing schools and places that put on things for free, but that's not everywhere. And we need to ensure that that is something that is accessible for everyone. Yeah, it needs to be that those opportunities are fair, because I think that's the biggest thing is it can feel really difficult growing up in poverty and watching other people go and do their clubs or, or they're learning their music instruments. And you're sat there like, actually, like, I don't want to put that pressure on my parents like I don't want to turn to my parents and say I want these lessons or I want to go to this club because I know they can't afford it and so you don't ask and you just keep that to yourself and actually that's a really difficult position to be in it's a responsibility that children shouldn't have um, and children shouldn't have to be worrying about money children should be able to be children and get on with their lives like play have fun like children should have that kind of view of the world where things are good but actually growing up in poverty you end up creating a worldview that's quite negative like you see all the bad in the world and you see the bad things and actually that makes life then really difficult growing up because that's all you see and like now I'm like acutely aware to like other people's experiences and so I see it, I see it when I see people and I, I've worked with young people who are experiencing poverty and I'm thinking like this, this shouldn't be happening. Like, why are we still in a situation where some young people just because of what they're born into or their situation, like I'm even watching like families where parents are being paid. So in my family, like my mum was working for a large part of my life, but actually still didn't have enough. She was working a full time job as a care assistant and actually as a manager of they, at one point, and still that wasn't enough for us to live on. Like there's something really wrong there um, that we need to sort.